Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com. I have another fun project for us today. This time I could not resist using this Cloud Hearts stencil from Missing Stamps along with the Smoke and Caterpillar stamp set. I've had this card in my mind for a really long time and it was finally time to make it. Have you ever had those cards where they just won't leave your mind? So this is funny because it did morph into something a little bit different. I thought I was going to be making an A2 size card, but this is ending up being a slimline card. So I'm going to start off by using the stencil. I'm just kind of laying it out here on my slimline size cardstock. So this is four inches by eight and a half, I believe. Right now I'm going to trim it down just a little bit in order to fit my mat around it. But for now we're starting off with this size and I'm gonna take some of my favorite colors of ink in blues and purples and I'm gonna ink around this heart cloud. Now, if you noticed, I put the center of the heart cloud inside the stencil, lined it up first, and I tacked that down with a little bit of removable adhesive. And now I'm using some inks to ink around this cloud. So a couple shades of blue, and then I'm gonna go in with a couple shades of purple. So light, a light and a dark of each color. And this is going to create our cloud. And in my head, what I thought this was going to be was the smoke coming out from the caterpillar smoke. So if you are familiar with Alice in Wonderland, that caterpillar is kind of iconic, <laughs> I guess. So I'm gonna make two of these heart clouds and hopefully the idea that I had in my head will transition well to this card. I am creating the second one here now and just going through with all of those colors. There we go. And now I'm going to remove all of those stencils and I'm going to use the heart stencil on its side just to create some clouds. So these are smaller than like a normal cloud stencil. So these are just little clouds and they're super cute. And the fun thing is, is that I already have ink on them. And so when I ink them through, they change colors just a little bit. Some are darker blue, some are a more purpley blue, and some are a brighter blue. I thought it was kind of fun and also a little bit of a surprise. I'm just gonna ink down a little bit here while I stamp on the images that I want. And that way I can make sure I don't put those clouds over those images. So I've chosen one of the mushroom sets from the stamp set. This one has about three different mushrooms and some greenery behind it, a few rocks, and it's really, really pretty. I really love these images. They're also super fun to color. So I'm just gonna stamp those down with my favorite black ink for Copic coloring. This is the Remarkable Eclipse Black ink. And I also stamped out some images on the side here on another piece of Nina Solar White paper. That way I'll have those for coloring and then I can cut those out to put onto the card. I'm just gonna start out with a bunch of different greens here. And I'm not leaving all of the coloring in, but just to give you an idea of how it worked through. So I've got the greens listed on the screen here. I've got some YG 91, 93, 95, and also a YG 08, I believe. And these are what I'm going to mostly be using for all of the leaf images. I'm using more of the olive green tones on the larger leaves and the brighter greens on the smaller leaves. The fun thing about coloring up all these images from the Wonderland sets or the Alice in Wonderland sets is that you really can go crazy with color. There's a lot of bright, beautiful colors in the movie and so I'm starting off really calm right here with some greens and some regular mushroom colors. I'm using E30 and E31 for the mushrooms underneath. But the tops of these mu mushrooms are gonna be really bright and vibrant. And that's kind of what I was going for, starting off nice and calm, going into some brighter colors. 
And the colors that I've chosen today for the mushrooms and the images pretty much match the colors of the clouds. So that's how I chose my colors today. I wanted to have this kind of color scheme that went together. And so that is what I'm going to do. Now here's the fun mushrooms. I'm going in with the B04 and B05, then I'm gonna blend it through with a BG13 and bring in a BG11 for the lightest part. And I'll go through this a couple of times just to get some bright, beautiful colors. I usually like to go through, if you've watched any of my coloring videos, you'll know that I usually like to go through all the colors from dark to medium to light. And then once that has dried back a little bit, I go over it once again with the dark and then medium and light once again. So that's how I'm gonna do these mushrooms as well. And you'll see that here after I finish the second mushroom. Going through all of the colors, I started with the darks. Now here's the medium and the light. Now today I'm using four different colors. Usually I'll choose three colors that kind of complement each other, light, medium, dark. Today I'm using an extra one. And here I am going back over with that dark color, blending it through and doing the, uh, just going through all of them once again. So see how this brings such a bright, vivid color to the tops of these mushrooms. It's really fun, kind of whimsical, kind of like a cartoon, kind of cartoonish, I guess. I love this color scheme though. So let's skip ahead. I've colored the other mushroom and I've colored the berries in one of those leaves behind the mushrooms in some oranges. So I'm going over these rocks with the oranges as well, but don't worry, I'm not leaving them this color. That's just the undercoating or the underpainting I'm doing. Now I'm taking the C3 and going over those rocks so they're kind of a gray with an orangish undertone. Now it's safe to go through and add the rest of the clouds. I'm just avoiding the image there and adding them kind of what looks like behind the image. Super easy to do, all the way down, and it gets a little bit lighter at the bottom here. So there's our back panel. I also added a little bit of color inside the hearts. We are gonna do some stamping inside the hearts, and I got a little bit of that removable adhesive stuck there, so I'm just taking my adhesive eraser and getting rid of that. Now I went ahead and cut out and colored the other images as well. I'm stamping some of those smoke rings up through the heart clouds, and then I also have picked out my stamp from the stamp set that says, who are you? And I'm gonna stamp that inside the hearts as well. But first I'm gonna add some dots to these mushrooms using some white Nouveau drops. Some smaller dots and some bigger dots just kind of adding them here and there. This is going to dry with a texture to it. I love when these Nouveau drops dry. They're a little bit dimensional, so it's really fun. I'm also gonna add a few to some of these rings. These are just tiny, tiny little dots inside those smoke rings. But it makes it look, I think, a little more cloud-like as well. And then I'm gonna add some of these brand new beautiful green pearl drops. These are called liquid pearls and they match that green grass perfectly. So I'm gonna put them all over the grass and then up, going up the grass just a little bit as well. So we're gonna get some really great, fun texture on this card. And once that was dry, I have cut this panel down just a little and I'm going to attach it to my favorite color of cardstock, which is Welsh Dragon. This is from Maker Forte. It is a gorgeous color. And now I'm just working out where I'm going to stamp that stamp that says, who are you? I'm gonna use the same purple that I used to ink up the clouds. And then for some more dimension, I'm popping up those images using some foam tape, and then I'll just put this whole card together. So this is going to be our slimline card for today. I've already got the, the card base prepared, so I'm just gluing that down with liquid adhesive as well. 
And there we go, really fun images. This time I colored Alice up with some purples to match also those heart clouds. And there's a closer look at our card. I love these images. I love those mushrooms, all the dimension, really fun. But I couldn't end there, of course. I had to add one more finishing touch and that's to add some of these gems to the uh, images and also in, up in the clouds. I think this adds a little more sparkle and shine and who doesn't love sparkle and shine, right? <laughs> so there we go. And that was just really simple to add with my magic wand tool and some liquid adhesive. And there we go. There's our card. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It really helps out with YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. I'll be back really soon with more card making inspiration. Until then, happy crafting. Bye-bye.